I'm KG Chris Gardner of the Houston Round Bald Review, and joining me is Mr. Rob Gray, the CEO <laughs> of Forever Cougs. How are you doing, man? I'm doing all right. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. Let's let's get into it. The first year of Forever Cougs in TBT. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on how it went? And uh, let's let's go from there. I mean, I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, to keep it simple. I'd say, you know, uh, super proud, super thankful. Um, you know, what a run that we were able to achieve in our first year, uh, coming up a little short. You know, a uh, million dollars sounds nice. Uh, more than anything, uh, I wanted the trophy. But, um, you know, it would have been nice for all of our guys to be able to come up like that all at once. Uh, pretty significant event uh, to win the TBT Championship. I'm not going to take away from my accomplishment. Pretty significant to make it to the championship in your first year, but, you know, no more victories, and uh, we're, we're eyeing the title. Now, how many years have you been in TBT? Uh, I participated in uh, three times before. So three times count this one or three times plus this one? Three times plus this one. What do you like about it? Uh, I like the Elon ending. I like the... Um, I like the way that the tournament is uh, obviously uh, money based. It's a big incentive that that makes people uh, have a sense of urgency. Uh, fuels competition. Um, I like that it's a lot of guys who typically play abroad and don't get to play uh, in America and on TV. It's a new experience and a new uh, outlet, you could say, for them to play in the summer and uh, play some uh, high level basketball on TV in front of their family. So uh, those are some things that I really appreciate about TBT. Um, I mean, my mo my favorite probably has to be Elam ending, uh, although it can be uh, not so fun to be on the on the losing side of it. It's still an exciting uh, ending to to basketball games, and it's a flair uh, that I I enjoy uh, to the game. I mean, is it, it makes sure that every game ends on a bucket. Right, right. Uh, whoever came up with that. Uh, idea they were on to something you know i like it and you can see kind of how it's being implemented in the other uh leagues uh, and uh around the world uh and people trying it out so it's definitely exciting um i probably say that in uh in you know in real games that i would more so want to play the clock instead of the elam ending but uh for tbt and, and some, for some other uh basketball leagues and that are trying to engage fans and, uh, you know, just bring a new product that's exciting uh, to the market. It's a good idea for sure. Now, I joked when I introduced you, calling you the CEO, but you really were a CEO <laughs> of Forever Coos because you were the main person to help get all this started and, and bring guys in. So just describe and discuss more of that, how you put everything together. Well, um, the guys at TBT, they've been adamant about uh, having a Houston alumni team. They've been trying to, you know, put it in my ear and um, get me to get it, get it moving on the ground, get everybody else involved, uh, get all the, the player and personnel that are, you know, in our circle at the U of H basketball family involved. And uh, I mean, it started like that. We got a maybe two years ago, you know, they were asking, um, uh, if we had any interest, which, you know, we did, but it's one thing to have interest and it's another thing to, to act on it. So uh, last year I played with Marshall Heard, that team, you know, they were still uh, telling me, you know, let's let's get this U of H thing rolling. Finally uh, got some interest and some momentum with some of my friends and former teammates. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of finding guys who are available, who are free, uh, you know, who are healthy and uh, who want to dedicate, dedicate their time during the summer to uh, playing, uh, you know, high level basketball to try to do something bigger than ourselves. So um, I'm glad that we were able to get involved and get everybody um, on the same page this year. Uh, as you can see, we weren't a completely 100% U of H alumni team. We had a couple fill in guys. Uh, shout out to them. We really appreciate them. And uh, but looking forward to next season where I think that we'll have uh, all U of H guys and uh, we'll have more than enough bodies and we'll be ready to compete uh, at a high level again with uh, the not so fond memory of losing uh, this year in the championship fresh on our brain. So uh, I'm looking forward to it to say the least. What let's, let's get into it. Uh, what are your plans for, 
the second year of Forever Cougs TBT? Uh, you know, come out, compete, uh, be organized, be on the same page, be motivated, uh, understand, you know, you can't lose uh, and go in there and, and, you know, give it all we got. Again, uh, we're going to work on, you know, constructing the roster with, with all U of H guys. And, um, you know, obviously everyone who, weren't, who wasn't a part of it this, this year was uh, inspired and, and geeked to see us uh, have some success and make it to the championship and be that close to winning. Um, you know, there's a few guys that, that come to mind that could have helped us, no question. And, uh, and they know they could have helped us, you know, and I'm sure they'll be more than excited to, to throw the Forever Coog jersey on next summer and, uh, and, and join the, the forces. Join the force <laughs> with how, us. How how soon will you go about you know trying to put together a roster for next year? Uh, I mean it starts now, so uh, you know it's just small talk now. Just you know seeing uh seeing where people may stand, seeing if they have you know high interest levels. Uh, a couple people you know obviously reached out to me and was like you know I wish we would have won and they were watching and we were so close, but uh. It'll be it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting. I think there'll be some uh, some early commitments, and there'll be some people that um, again will definitely be able to to help us. Uh, we should have some special reinforcements, to say the least. Is it safe to say you are committed to next year for Forever Coach? Oh, no question, no question. Yeah, without a doubt, for sure. I can't wait to play. Hopefully, I'm healthy mentally, physically, and uh, you know I'm gonna be there, without a doubt. <laughs> what What are your thoughts on? Uh... Hooping in Fertitta Center. Um, super thankful again. Um, there's a lot of thoughts, I guess, that could that could uh, flow from from thinking about that topic. But more than anything, just thankful. Uh, big on the gratitude. You know, we played at Texas Southern my senior season, and I never got to to step foot in Fertitta Center to to play a game. So to be able to play four games and win all four, you know, it was pretty cool, pretty special, and I'm super thankful uh, for the opportunity. Um, it's a nice gym, it's a nice venue, and uh, hopefully, you know, we can play some more games in TBT in the Fertitta Center. What would you like to see done differently or help to get more people involved and come out and see you guys play next year? Um, I think, uh, I don't know if there's too much that we could have done differently. You know, we could try to come up with some type of marketing strategies to engage uh, fans and the people in the city. But uh, more than any marketing strategy, I believe, uh, our actions this year uh, will be, you know, the best thing that that we could possibly do to get people in excited and involved to come watch us. Because, um, you know, it's one thing to have a packed house and lose, but you know, we're we're showing that we're competitive and that we uh, want to have deep tournament runs year in and year out in TBT. You know, as uh, as it's allowed, as far as us having an alumni team that's. Um, got a lot of guys who are committed and who are uh, willing to spend and dedicate their time and energy towards CBT during the summer. So as long as that's um, in the mix, I think that we'll we'll be, uh, you know, looking forward to competing in the summer without a doubt. And again, hopefully we can get some more games in the Fertitta Center because, uh, you know, I, I don't mind playing in there at all. Is it possible to get, I guess, companies involved to sponsor or be become more involved with forever kooks yeah yeah no question um it's not our only player involvement definitely sponsorships uh companies uh obviously you know we have a logo on our jersey and there's room for for sponsorships and uh and deals with that benefit you know both the team and uh the company involved so um that's something that we'll definitely be handling you know as time goes on and i'm sure again we were just playing on you know national tv you know what I mean? So it's not like it's just uh, something where, um, you know, we're just asking or we're just needing, you know, it's a mutual, mutually benefiting uh, type of sponsorship or deal that I think um, a lot more people will will reach out and want to be a part of because, I mean, it's a it's a win win. You know, you're mm -hmm. you're in a TVT. It's an exciting event. You know, your hands on. Uh, your front row, then again, for business purposes, uh, sponsorships and uh, exposure, you know, it's again, we're on FS1 plan. Everyone's watching, everyone's tuned in. There's no other basketball going on in the summer right now. So uh, I think it's, uh, you know, again, 
a positive a positive outlet for many people for uh in the u of h basketball community to come watch to come be a part of uh to play you know to to sponsor us or to to be you know in the mix with us uh it has a lot of potential i i saw on, on uh i guess instagram tbt posted a way too early look mm-hmm. at next yeah, year and and forever Coos is ranked number three are you good with yeah. that uh the rankings don't matter you know i don't know what we were ranked going into this uh into this tbt and the power rankings but uh what matters is is winning games and finishing strong so um you know the rankings are cool but we're not we're not after a ranking the only ranking we're after is that final 2025 ranking where they give someone a trophy and a, and a, a zell so the rankings are cool we're glad to be in the mix we want to be competitive but you know more than anything we want to win where are you going to play this uh this this coming season I'll be playing in Italy this season. So when do you head over? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So you squeeze me in for this. I appreciate that then, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. No problem. All right, Rob. Uh, just say, if you don't mind, a little bit more to the fans. You know, so don't forget about Fabric Cruise and get them to come out next year support you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's as simple as that. You know, uh, we're going to have a lot of familiar names, for fi- familiar faces in the Fertitta Center. Uh, as you can see, uh, this 2024 TBT is an exciting event. Uh, we're here to compete and, uh, you know, we're here to hold up our end of the bargain, which is, uh, you know, surviving and advancing. To all those who came out, you know, much, much appreciated. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can um, run it back next year in the Fertitta Center. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more coups in the building because, it's uh it's worth it you know you'll be entertained for sure and uh and we need your energy and support to say the least rob great thank you very much man and keep me in the loop man if i can do anything to help promote it i'll do my part okay yes sir i appreciate you a lot and uh i thank you a lot all right man you take care yes sir thank you